Hello and welcome to this history section of the 8km City of London Riverside photo run. The thing I'm going to show you here is what London might have looked like in Roman times. This is from about 200 AD and this is when they'd been here for over 150 years and they had built a wall around the whole of London which basically ex existed to for for many years up until the uh, 20th century in fact there's still some of it left today now you can see that it was we have these things like Moorgate and Bishopsgate and uh, Newgate those are still there those were entrances to the city and it was about 10 foot wide and 20 foot tall it was one of the biggest walled cities uh, around it was about a half a square mile and you can still do that route today it, and that's going to be in one of my future runs the the areas that you probably used to look at is that they did have a bridge uh, where London Bridge is today and the road that went up towards where Leadenhall Market was was where they had their forum and out to the top end was where they had their uh, amphitheater up near the Barbican so there's some areas which are quite similar to what they are today so although the Romans eventually left London or Londinium as it was called then the wall city survived for up to 1600 years the next period we want to look at is the Elizabethan age and the this is a map that you can see from from around 1540. Now briefly you can see that the Tower of London is in the bottom right hand corner and it's surrounded by a moat and the whole of the wall city is a, a moat all the way around it for defensive purposes. Over on the upper left you'll see St Paul's Cathedral which was built on Ludgate Hill. Now there's three hills really inside the city of London. There is Tower Hill where the Tower of London is, this is where all the executions were. There's Ludgate Hill where they built St Paul's Cathedral and then there's Corn Hill which is in the middle which is where they build the financial centre. Now if you look on the southern side which is Southwark there's not very much there at all in fact it's generally marshlands except for where London Bridge is which has uh, buildings on it and that was the main route into London and then all the roads went out to the relevant places up and down the country. Now if we have a look to see how London would have looked if we were a bit closer to it, almost like a aerial view, you can see that this is London from just a little bit later. The, the St Paul's has actually lost its tower here, but London Bridge is, is still in full flight. It's got buildings on it, it's got heads along the, the front. This is a Facebook page in a sense, early Facebook page of where we put the heads that we didn't like on there. This is Southwark Cathedral. We have Winchester Palace. We have the Tower of London uh, visible with different types of domes on it than exists today. But you can see that on the south side you have all the bare painting pits and the theatres. And this is the main route into it. So if we move on to the Victorian period, we'll see that London has changed quite considerably. This is uh, a map which is showing it from almost going out towards Docklands, going out towards just beyond St Paul's. But you can see that it's become very industrious. This is almost at the height of the Victorian or the British Empire. And you can see that we've got the railway lines starting to come through. This would be London Bridge. The docks are much, are very large. So we have St Catherine's Dock and London Dock and out into over here, this is Docklands, where the where we have a West India Dock. The whole of the river is extremely busy with with commerce, and that we can see that we have London Bridge, and we have Blackfriars Bridge, and we also have Southwark Bridge already in position. Okay, so we're going to move on and look at how London looks from the air today and this is taken from the Shard and you can see that we've got Tower Bridge, we've got the Tower of London, we've got HMS Belfast 
And if I, we go and look a bit more to the left, you'll see that we have starting to see the bigger buildings. There's not a huge amount, but these are the taller buildings in London, just near Billingsgate Market and Customs House. And as we move across, we'll be able to see London Bridge and going out towards Moorgate and the Barbican. And then finally, we've got the, the far end, if you just see St Paul's Cathedral at the, the top in the middle. And then we've got the Millennium Bridge, and then we're going to go along the south side to end up back at the Shard here. OK, so the first part of the route we're going to go on is, is shown here. This is how it's going to be looking from the Elizabethan times. We'll be going along the front where there's, there would have been a few houses, but it would have been a lot of marshlands and gardens. Then we'll be crossing over. St Catherine's Dock's not there, but the whole of the Tower of London is, and we'll end up at the top of Tower Hill where the executions tended to take place, and there was quite a lot of them taking place at this time. This is an alternative view taken from the Victorian times. You can see that the docks now were, were certainly there, much bigger than they are today. And the whole of the front was taken up by the industry and commerce feeding the city to the north. OK, so we're just going to start the route now. We're going to uh, just give you a view of the, the map as how it's, how it's looking from uh, an aerial view. And you see we're just going to go along the, the Queen's Walk and then past HMS Belfast, out towards City Hall, St Catherine's Dock on the back. So this will give you sort of like an aerial view now. And uh, we're going to start the run at London Bridge. So it's important to give you a little bit of steer about what London Bridge was like at that particular time. It is one of our older stations. It was built in 1836 and it's changed a lot over the period. You can see from the following map where it is in relation to London Bridge. It's a lot smaller. Obviously, it's got to grown a lot bigger over the years. You can see the viaducts and you can even see St. Olaf's Church, which when we start the run, you'll see that it's not there. This was moved many uh, in the 1927. And this ends this section.